come back guys so we have seen that how has code uh, is same for the same object and how has code is different for the different object now now we will see that some more uh, concept of hashing so if you look at here all object in java inherits default implementations of the hash code because your all classes internally will extend your object class and object class has this hash code right so by default your all object will have this hash code implementations right this functions produces hash code by typically converting the internal address of the object into the integer it will convert your address to the integer and it produces different hash code for all different object so whenever you will have a different object for every different object you will get a different different hash code now uh, look at here uh, this diagram so let's say if you have a multiple object right for every object uh, if you look at you will have a different different hash code all the objects are different you will get a different hash code right so like uh, hash code is nothing but the integer data integer value of the memory right now look at here we need to understand first of all why i am talking about hash code so generally what happens if you look at your array list okay whatever we uh, whatever we we came to know till now is let's say array list right array list and linked list also we came to know a stack and queue okay so in all four uh, implementations we have seen that we were able to store duplicate data okay we were able to store the duplicate data now in the hash set and hash map okay first i will talk about the hash set in hash set you cannot insert you cannot add duplicate data okay so how this has been achieved like why we cannot add duplicate data in the hash set this is achieved by overriding the hash code and equals method which we have in the object class so by overriding hash code and equals method we can avoid entering the duplicate data in the set or map class when we store when we store custom object why i have written this word custom object when i will explain the example you will, you will understand because what happens your hash set okay which will not allow you the duplicate data internally it uses hash map hash set internally uses hash map okay and you know that uh, so map is the like uh, next topic okay after hash set i will i will talk about map but i'll give you some idea because we need to know map here little bit to understand this hashing concept how internal data storage happens so basically uh, your map class hash map class will uh, has overrided the hash code and equals method internally okay if you'll go and if you'll see the implementations of your uh, hash map class it has these methods overridden your hash code and equals methods are overridden so by which it will prevent adding duplicate key because in the map it is a key value pair okay so it will not allow you to add duplicate key same will help you this both method hash code and equals to prevent duplicate data to uh, by adding into a hash set okay now we need to get some idea of hash map because we have to understand we will not go into the details because we'll have a de uh, details topic all together uh, in the different chapter all together right so we will not go into details here we'll try to understand some basic concept so map class overrides hash map and equals method from object class very important point remember this okay your array list linked list will not override but this guy map will override hash code and equals method now what both method will do that also we will see that basic idea about hash map and methods which we need to know for hashing concept like i have written just a point we need to understand the basic idea this hash map is the class and if you look at k comma v so k is the key and v is the value okay in earlier uh, when we were writing array list we had only one angle bracket even linked list only one angle bracket which is nothing but then in angle bracket you can specify the type of object which you are going to store into a linked list or in the array list but in the hash map in the angle bracket you have a key comma value pair right so if you look at this line second line so that's how you create the object of hash map hash map is the class guys 
इट विल टेक यू द की एंड वैल्यू बोथ आर ऑब्जेक्ट ओके की इज द ऑब्जेक्ट वैल्यू इज द ऑब्जेक्ट राइट सो इवन दो यू इंटर प्रिमिटिव डेटा टाइप इंटरनली यू नो दैट योर प्रिमिटिव डेटा टाइप विल गेट कन्वर्टेड टू अ ऑब्जेक्ट बाय बाय द हेल्प ऑफ रैपर क्लासेस राइट विच वी हैव सीन दैट इन वेरी लॉर्ड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल वी हैव सीन दैट राइट सो दैट्स हाउ वी क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ हैस मैप बाय वी राइट अ न्यू की वर्ड एंड की एंड वैल्यू राइट सो वी ऑल्सो नीड टू नो टू मेथड वन इज पुट मेथड वन इज गेट मेथड मैप हैज टू मेथड पुट टू एड द डेटा टू द मैप एंड गेट to get the data from the map okay when you put you have to give key and value pair so uh, i can i can i can put here map dot put bhanu value is equal to 30 okay so when i have to get i will do map dot get and i have to supply here bhanu so my output will be 30 okay output will be 30 that's how it works i will show you in the eclipse also please remember this method put method get method and that's how we create the object of hash map just remember three things here okay now uh, we have to override the hash code and equals method so again i have written the definitions here hash code method is used to get the hash code of the object hash code method method of object class returns the memory reference of the object in integer form so whatever memory address you have in the memory it will give you the integer form of the address now the equals method will compare two object are equal or not this method is provided by the object class even this method is provided by the object class you can override this method whenever you want to do whenever you want to write your own implementations yes we will we will also see that how we can override these two method hash code and equals method to fulfill uh the requirement where we don't want to store duplicate custom object in the hash set or hash map right yes uh, when you are storing only primitive data type you don't need to override hash code and equals because it is already overridden in the map class that will take care right but when you are going to store custom object like person object student object employee object in the hash set or hash map you have to take care so these are the points we need to know okay map will call uh, this is the default implementations of map map we will call hash map map will call overridden hash code and equals method during data store whenever you will store the data it will call these two method one is hash code one is equals why it will call how it will call everything we will see that guys just try to remember these points okay in general when we store primitive data type in a set or map then duplicate data is taken care by overridden hash code and equals method so whenever you are just storing primitive data type any integer double boolean float a string a string is not primitive data type it's object type even your primitive data type actually we don't store primitive data type we store the object because your wrapper class will convert into the object on behalf of you compiler will do that job right but here just for your understanding i'm saying that so whenever you are storing those kind of data hash code and equals will take care of removal of duplicacy right but we see data issue if we store user define object in hash set or map right and when you say user define means you are creating your own object so in the object you can write your own uh, own custom data right that data you this hash code and equals method will not remove the duplicacy that you have to take care that we will see that you can achieve this by implementing equals and hash code method at the user defined object so whenever you have a user defined you have to implement hash code and equals method then only you can achieve the uniqueness otherwise you will not achieve the uniqueness right so in next video we will start with the example where we see that how this data will get stored into the memory what happens when we try to store the data and how this hash code and equals method will work okay so first we will start with the default implementations what you have in the hash map first we will not change we will not override first we will see the default implementations and slowly we will go with the our own custom implementations of hash code and equals thank you guys thank you for watching this